Hello everyone, it's John from Double Sleeved here and welcome to another episode of Drafting with John where we are going to draft some fantastic Premier Zendikar Rising. We haven't done this in a little while so I thought I'd uh, give it another bash, see how we get on. It's been a week or so since we... Uh, since you did a good old fashioned draft. Kind of missing it, to be honest with you. Kind of missing it. Um, we're, we're coming to the end of the Commander Legends previews. Some absolutely fantastic cards. I think I am going to have to do a video at some point of like a roundup of all the cards. Um, because some of them that have come out now. There seems to be a cycle of three mana creatures that looks really exciting. But um, anyway. Straight in. Uh, hopefully, I'll look around the old screenaroo. I've had a little play around. Let me just uh, decided just to go my head for this one. Well, this is a bit of a pack. So, Cargan Instigator, Instigator, Intimidator, uh, great warrior card, powerful, great rare. Really like it. Really good card. Skyclave Cleric, good. Modal double face card. Got some great. Um, Red here, feed the swarm. I really like, um, but we 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 just there are probably a handful of cards you'd rather have than Rooster Drakes. Certainly, pack one, pick one where you can start to you know kicker. Um, the only thing I don't like about Rooster Drakes, to be completely honest with you, is the pressure that it puts on you to uh, to draft well with it because it is like basically it's the uh, the mythic uncommon that they say are is in every set or whatever. Uh, it's just absolutely fantastic. So we're now going to be looking for kicker cards, ideally in Simic, uh, and we've got a couple here. So Taunting Arbor Mage can win you the game because it can um, literally get you half your creatures unblocked. Um, it can be kicked, obviously. It's a decent card. However, I think in this deck, I just have to favour Tazim Royal Mage. One, because it's a two drop, which I just think is such an important slot in best of one. And two, it gets kicked that brings stuff out of the graveyard. I think so, so powerful. And it's blue, which keeps our blue. Um, I am passing three great cards, but Gnarly Colony is the other one. Those are the three main cards for us here. Uh, yes, it's arguably the wrong thing to do, to just like tunnel draft like this. But I can't not. Do you know what I mean? I can't not. So we've got a white-black jewel here. We've got mm, Lithoform Blight's not great. Iridescent Horn Beetle. Mm. Um, it's tempting to take it because the chances are we're going to go... Simic, and it will give like a lot of things when you kick them get counters. So we will take it because the only other option we've got is Shell Shield, maybe a Glacial Grass, which I don't, which I don't hate. Marauding Blight Priest works well in the Cleric deck, but otherwise it's not great. And here is Bindings, a solid white card. Um, you can go White Kicker, but it's not as good as, as Simic uh, by any stretch of the imagination. Okay. So, we're not being paid off for our initial picks, but I don't dislike the Bane Veil. It's a it's a dual land, so or it's a modal double face land. So for us, um, it'll just be a tapped island, or the the added upside of. Um, Of being able to sort of debuff our opponent's creatures. Not a lot else in that pack. Okay, so we're really not being paid off at all for our uh, early decisions. Um, at this stage, I'm just going to have to take the best card. Now, Relic Vile's good in, in a Cleric deck. I will take 
course, Celebrant, as I think it's probably the best card here, next to Fissure Wizard. Uh, could I see us going Wizards, actually? You know what, I'll take Fissure Wizard, because it's blue, red, Wizards might be where we go, with the kind of Roost sub-theme. Um, McKinley Stampede's okay, but I'm, I'm not a big fan of it, and I don't think it'll work white with us. Okay, so we really aren't seeing anything to go with Rooster Drakes at all. So the options we've got here, Spikefield Hazard, probably the one we're going to go for because it is a modal door face, so get, we get the land benefit potentially. Sneaking Guide is pretty good in aggressive decks, sort of uh, getting things through that have a way of buffing, certainly with like Landfall, etc. Uh, and the Blight Blade, I think, has been um, overperforming in terms of lots of bites and fights out there. Just stopping the big creatures. Um, and Kazandu Stomper if we wanted to pick up lands. Okay, so we get this back. Risen Riptide's kind of a, a no-brainer. The other option we've got is the Skyclave Sentinel, which can be kicked, and then counters go on it. Um, but I think in terms of what we're looking at, we're going we're gonna go kicker if we can. Uh, and therefore Riptide's just a great three drop that can be a five-five, which is pretty silly. Uh, yeah, not really many other options here. Um, Spell Shield's a kicked card. It's not great, but it is okay. Chilling Trap would be fantastic if we went um, Wizards, and we're not really going Wizards at the moment. It's pretty much nothing for us here. I haven't really played Anticognition, so I'll sideboard it for now, but who knows. Again, not really a lot here for us. Um, the Canopy Veil is probably just the best card. Might have Marassa if we carry on the um, kicked theme. I'll take a Chilling Trap because we might go Wizards. Kind of a bit open, which is not bad. I've <laughs> just dumped all the packs on our uh, old Sal's Sal Salvatore. Loot Fruit, great name. Um, so this isn't bad in terms of a bunch of one one, but a bunch of one mana that we probably aren't going to have many of, uh, of which you know we've got uh, a couple of modal double faces in there, potential to go green blue, potential to go red blue. We'll see what we get. Excellent, nothing, nothing at all. So Akiri is like a build around. It's very difficult to sort of just slit, slit. Yeah, it's very, very difficult to slit. Um, she's a great card, and I like her, um, but just too difficult. Kite sails okay, uh, best in kind of party or clerics. Disruptions okay, but on the off chance that we do go wizards, this just feels like the only card we can take. Um, I like Gro. Bro uh, Grotag Bug Catcher, but that works more in party decks, and we're not party at all. So I'll take a Thundering Rebuke and see what comes around. Okay. Now this is tough. So, four mana, or for eight mana you can kick it. Now that is a lot of mana, and you either get for four mana, sending two creatures back, scrying two, drawing two, creating an illusion or for eight money you get all three i don't think it's powerful enough you know and i think here we've got some choices we either go into the royal or royal eruption i think we've got to go royal eruption and we're just we're just gonna go like this and we're gonna i mean look at all these cards oh that is painful. Royal Eruption is just the best card there. Another Roost of Drakes. No, the pressure. Oh, the pressure. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. It's like, oh, God, I've got all the good cards. And I, it, this reminds me, I drafted an absolutely amazing Black White Cleric deck, and I, I zero three would it, and it just was the most painful thing I, ever in the history of, of, of anything. Um, Oh, God, Rooster Drakes is just so good. We've got two of them. If we didn't have that, 
we'd probably go Reclaim just because it's a great kicker card. Okay, uh, uh, yeah, at this point, sort of absolutely no question. We could still go blue-green, but we're going to pretty much be heavily blue. This is a great wizard, and it's a great uh, kicker card. So it kind of fits everything we may want to do. Um, this also enables us to pick up any of the wizards that, that might be going. Uh, we may play into cognition as well, so we'll just keep that as, a, as an option. Um, but Cunning Geyser Mage is great, bouncing an opponent's card back to their hand. Um, some great cards here. Like, I would take Spells of Adventure, Expedition Healer, Shepherds of Heroes, Spell Shield, Gloom Hunter, Reclaim, Blight, Blight, like, they're all of them. I'm going to take Spare Supplies. There's only off chance that we, um, like, a, we can get a Spell Shield if we need another one. Just from the card draw perspective, um, but we may not play it. So I'm going to take the Amara Mystic for a couple of reasons. One, there's no kicker cards here. Um, and at the moment, we're sat on two, three, four, five, six kicker cards. Uh, we'd like the, the wizard to, to wheel, but we'd be happy with the Hellion potentially. But it just works for us with the sort of cards we're, we're, we're running at the moment. Which does make the Chilling Trap a little bit more attractive. I'll take a Glacial Grasp. I think Glacial Grasp is good. Uh, it triggers the Yamara Mystic. Um, and we can get it back with the Tazim Raw Mage. Um, as we can with, obviously, the Chilling Trap. How many Wizards are we running at the moment? Four. Like if we can up our Wizard count, we'll probably just take a, as many Chilling Traps as we... Ch chilling, chilling, chilling Traps as we can. Um, I'll take the Kaskia, the Kaskia. Oh my God, the Royal into the Royal Wield. Oh no! Oh God, that's so powerful. One of the best kicker cards. One of the best cards in the set. Certainly, uh, I'll give you the best um, blue common. Probably one of the best commons. I, I'll take a squid, but we may not play it. Um, how is? Balls of Adventure coming around. Uh, so we're set on what? Five Wiz. Five of the old Wizzies. An absolute bunch. Like, another Spell Shield isn't going to hurt anyone. When you consider that two of these cards are... Lands. Yeah. We are... Okay, so a little bit of Just Desserts coming back our way in that we don't want any of the cards here. Um, and there are some... If anyone in green, this is... So I've watched a couple of um, drafts recently where um, first pack, pack one, pick one, rare or mythic green like a Shire. And they kind of like fell into it. Um, and the payoff was no one's drafting green because green isn't that strong so they got all the good green cards and a pack like this if you could get a couple of cards out of it you know a shire and either the sproutling the recovery the bite the blade for anyone else there's the feed um the tactics is okay or good if you're in warriors the strike's good the ambush is pretty good like So what are we doing for creatures? Eight creatures, so low. Oh, is it wrong? Is it wrong to take the Thundering Spark Mage? What is my party? I just don't think I even got anything. I've got a wizard, which he's already doing. Another wizard. I just don't think I'm running anything but wizards. I think I want to take into the royal. And then I just need to like hoard creatures. That's tempting, isn't it? Um, I 
Yeah, so I need like the the I'm gonna go I'm gonna go wizard three drop I just wonder if I need the two drop, you know. It's too good. It's too good. I know it's a three drop, but it's too good. At this point, I just need the two drop. A little cleric cleric merfolk sitch. I'm kind of living for turn three at this point. Now, there is a debate around Molten Blast. We're probably not playing a sneaking guide, but I don't know. It would help with like getting the Umara Mystic through. Um, giving the Electromancer another thing to potentially cast or to buff. Field research is so good. That's my creature numbers, 13. I'm not offended by 13. Um, okay. Don't like it. We'll take a Grotag Buck Catcher just to give us again something early game to, to be playing around with. And you know what? The deck's pretty much there at this point. You know, there, there really isn't going to be a huge amount that's going to spin round that I'm going to like snap up. Only one spell shield's a bit of a shame. Only two chilling traps. Maybe I should have gone for a third. We've got eight wizards in the end, which is, you know, certainly not to be sniffed at. We're not going to play the Hellhound, but it's there if we want it. The only thing we've got to bear in mind, like a lot of these cards, we've just got to keep in our mind that... What's the kicker cost to these cards? So when I say that, I mean if we look at Roost of Drakes is a four drop. Um, into the Royals a four drop. To the Royal Maids can be a six drop. And Royal, ah, come back here, Royal Eruption, you little minx. Cunning Geyser Mage, a six drop. Field Research can be both, but you know, let's call it a six drop. You know, at that point, the curve looks, if anything, probably scary in terms of what, three, four, two drops, and one. So we've kind of got five hits out of the early game at the moment, and we've not obviously done much. I think we can afford to get rid of that Cascade Seer. I'm not in love with it. I wonder whether or not we need the Glacial Grasp. Glacial Grasp. Okay. So we're at 13 Critters. I like everything that we've got going on. I really like it. I like it all. Is sneaking guide? Uh, is is sneaking guide? I just think Roost of Drakes is going to be giving us creatures left, right, and centaur, and therefore I'm less bothered by it. I actually think we're there. Eight and eight. I wouldn't want to go any different. They're they're basically lands um, with upside. Aim of the game. Roost out. Kick a bunch of stuff. Delay the game. We've got combat tricks. 
Squid'll hold the fort with the old cleric. Wizard'll help us get to the Drake, get rid of some of the... Um, The lands. The bug catcher is always going to be adding two because we're always going to have uh, a wizard around. Draw a bunch of cards if we need to. Kick it if we can. Need that load of lands out early, which is why we wouldn't want to go any lower. Yeah. Oh, nothing more annoying when I can't. There we go. Um, like we. Do we even have any rares in this deck? We don't. Into the roost. Well. Seven wins, here we come. You heard it here first. I'm predicting. If this first game goes to plan, then we're laughing. Ha 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 ha. Also, we ended Platinum 4. Um, and, you know. Like, this isn't a great hand. Like, too many lands, if anything. But we, it means we can keep hold of these for... There are worse... Uh, Worse things than, than that. And if they play something that dies to... Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Cool story, bro. Okay. Boom Snaggle. Do you reckon that's Boom Snaggle? Or Boom's Naggle? I'll leave that one up to you. Okay, okay, okay. So it did nothing with that, which is good, which is good. So, if I offer a trade here, then I can always, I think that they're gonna be into party. Yeah. So it was always going to be the right thing to do. To lay the blocker down. Arguably, I could have done that before combat to get the extra one damage in, but I feel like it was just probably a better idea. If I don't draw a land, then I will lay down... Probably the, the hazard. Okay, so they're macing it up, they're macing it up. Good to know, good to know. Like, that was their whole turn. I think I'll just waste their um like I could have waited, let them attack, chilling trapped to draw a card, probably a smarter move. Um but mm, I didn't leave the one open, which is a shame. Um Yeah, so what we can do here is deal one damage to that. I'm in no hurry to lay these down. Um, I want another land. Thank you. So, you know, really at this point, I will...
I've got Geyser Mage to I'll trade here with no real consequences to me. And if they can attach mace, I'll take four. Or three or whatever it may be. Adds two, helps them equip the mace. Yeah. So Again, I'm happy to take three or four next this turn. There's nothing that can do 11 damage without... I don't know why they're racing. Obviously, Roller Option in hand now gives me... the win. I'm surprised that with red and black, they've, there's not been a lot of light removal. They played a Thundering Rebuke. Just dome them for five. Okay. We didn't see a single Rooster Drakes. And we'd have probably had five, four, four or five Drakey boys if we'd have had one out. So, yeah, there you go. I think Blue Red Wizards is definitely one of my favourites. I probably prefer playing it to Clerics. It doesn't ha necessarily have the late game that Clerics does, but it just feels um, more flexible, maybe. I don't know. Also, if you're watching this video and you're enjoying it, um, make sure you like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Subscribers continue to rise nice and slowly. We're hoping it would be really great that when the the first year anniversary of this channel comes out we are at the 365 mark so we can say we've got a subscriber every day a new person every day joins the team that'd be lovely i also appreciate not everyone necessarily cares that much um okay well we can um we can stop their advances with the cleric next turn Okie dokie, that's fine. So, yeah, they can attack with that. If they do, then good for them. Are they just reading all the cards? Yeah, maybe they are. Quite new into the game, quite possibly. Okay, um, I mean, I'll block that. If they've got a trick, then they can have a trick. There's plenty of, yeah, yeah. So that's cool. Good for them. Um, okay, so I think I'll just... Play my, my Royal Mage, and there you go. So now I've got my Wizard out. I can Chilling Trap this T to Peak Ambusher when it attacks. Double block. <laughs> Trying to work out what they want to do. Okay. 
We'll let them put some mana into it. Or not. I think they were just happy to kill the raw mage, so I'd rather not lose the raw mage. Next turn I can hit them for a few. Okay, I think they still... Okay, okay, so they're using all their mana. Alright, alright, I feel it, I feel it. Um, okay, so we need to find a land. It's not a land. We can okay, there's the land. I'll trade the Ambusher with the Electromancer, that's fine by me. And again, if they run another Inordinate Rage, then good for them for running two. Okay, a Royal Option's good, yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm probably more worried about the Sneaking Guide than about the visual wizards, so I would be happy for that trade. Yeah. Them them's being able to sneak the T to peek through and then buff it is quite scary, so they can't do that twice, so that's fine. Okay, so we can now kick this. Just bounce one of those. Send my five mana through. Have the geyser mage. Where are the rooster drakes, by the way? I'm sure. I'm sure. Maybe it's just me. I'm sure, we had two of them. Okay, so they finally hit their fifth land. When they get to six is when it gets like quite scary. So I've not really got anything else that matters. I'll let them use their mana. Okay. So they lay another land down. Okay, bug catcher. It's all warriors though, so they're only getting a plus one. Okay, I'll lay down another one of these guys. So we do have card draw in our hand, no, nope, in our deck. The Rooster Drakes in our deck. Yeah, 
mean, if they they're gonna use spells to to hit us, then that's good for them. Okay. Probably should have done that before combat. All warriors. This this flooding is a little bit annoying. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, we've got kicked royal eruption. Okay, so they're able to, to do five. Happy for them to do that. I guess, is there a better time to do this? Say four damage. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so... kick this. Do I kick this now? No. I need to wait because I can do it on the defensive. Okay, so we need to get rid of these two. Like we're by no means out of the blue here because out of the blue, out of the issues. Yeah, they can get that to be a four. That's annoying. Annoying, but the, you know. This, this is what's annoying. I think that's it. You know, the Seagate buffs. That's all I can do. Really frustrating not to see some of the better cards. But what can you do? What can you do? Got a lot of lands like 10 lands and I'm both our spell lands uh, the pressure of the of the double drake it's overwhelming okay well super duper man 007 is our opponent so right so this is this is where we go bang. Turn two. And then we have literally got the whole world at our feet here. Casting all the cards in our hand. We can... Um, oh, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. We're going to go over the top here. We're going to give the bug catcher another bit of something, something. Happy to trade with the Vine Gecko. That gets out of, out of hand pretty sharpish. They play a kick spell. I Thundering Rebuke it because I'm a nasty person. So they're doing what we probably should have done. Interesting. 
and getting themselves some lands. They could be splashing. They're not splashing. Splish, splash. I'd be taking a bath. Do you like how I, how I make that, mix that up a little bit? Okay, so we've got a Thundering Rebuke. That thing, because it's just awful. Hit them for six. Bing bong. Life is good. Next turn, we can Risen Riptide. And then get that online for hopefully when we draw our sixth land and cunning the geyser mage, whatever they play. Super duper man 007, better watch out. Don't go snaring my bug catcher, you. Oh. That is saucy. Ain't no flash cards in green. Okay. Next turn, we Roost of Drakes kicked. Oh, buddy. We've got to get Roost online. Like dead happy to trade there. If we've got a spell or something, then they can do it. But we're going to be giving them the old bouncer roo soon anyway. So Cunning Guys and Mage comes down, bounces the Riptide or whatever they've got, probably a Flyer hopefully, or Reach, something we can bounce, which will get us another Drake. Buff that up, means we're hitting in the air for 7. If they've not played anything, we'll be hitting them in the air for, hitting them on the ground as well. They're snaring the Riptide? Yikes. Yeah, they've got to have more stuff if they're... Yeah, yeah, that's fair, that's fair, that's fair. So we bounce the colony. Oh, man. Is that filthy or what? Now we've got sweet, sweet blocks on the colony. I mean, they were ne like they were never beating Double Drake. Oh, filthy! Absolute filth. Um, and straight away, it's like a better deck than we've had in in quite some time. Has to be said, quite some time. Maybe this little little break was what was required to rejuvenate. Re yeah, so this is nice. Yeah, two, three, a little bit of something, something to do if we need to keep that as a spell. Get rid of that now. Boom, boom, boom. Get rid of the land. Get something we want to play. Can play everything in our hand. Good for you. Uh, yeah, we'll get a Mystic online. We'll trade. Or we'll deal them too. Up to them. Sounds good. Oh, just like that. The aggro. Oh. They knew, they felt, they, gold tier four, they felt double drake. 
was on its way, you know? I felt it. We have had some really tough drafts recently. So a good draft like this is what we needed. Although, we could just go 3-3 now. So, let's not count our chickens too early. But I can't help but have that little sense of anticipation. You know, that, that little, little bit of... Uh, ooh, are we going to do it? Um, because, like I said, it's been a while. Had to pick up some extra gems for this. That's how little we wa we won. Oh man! Plural past tense of 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 one was is one apparently. Oh man! Oh dude! Dude and dudettes. I'm playing the mountain because I don't want to trigger the, the drakes to look like I've got something in my hand. And I'm playing squid first. Um, if we got a riptide, then oh hey, then that would be like sweet as a nut. If they want to attack, I'll absolutely block. Okay, block blue. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, they knew it. Oh, this is just disgusting. Do we go in? Like we just, we just don't need. Yeah, you see, we just don't need to aggro anything. We have got, honestly, the knees of the bees here. Like hit me for one, mill me two, gladly. Hit me for a ma many and mill me for many. I don't mind. I would expect there to be a crab somewhere if this is the kind of start that they're uh, playing around with. Okay. So let's just get our our Drake system online. Okay, okay, okay. We've not got another wizard. A little peck there, a little peck. So next turn, we'll Thundering Rebuke. Well, I'm happy just to double block there. They've got something, they've got something. I'll take six. I'd like that trade. If we've got the flash one mana duelist. Okay. What did they minus one minus one? Okay, so we're going to go for that. We're going to deal a billion damage to that.
I don't know if I necessarily want to draw three cards, <laughs> but... The only thing we don't have is a wizard out. Okay, 6-6. Six, six. Cool, 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 cool. Cool story. Yeah, so we're on 10 cards. They're thinking if they, okay. Okay, so we haven't gotten into the royal yet. Happy to kind of continue to play this stalemate kind of game for a, for a minute. Okay, they didn't mill the into the royal, so that's fine. Not into the royal, royal eruption. I do think we have two into the royals then. Obviously, the amount of times this stops, they they know we've got something. Excellent. So, we've quite a lot in the air. I just don't want them to mail my... They're gonna they're gonna mill it. And that's gonna be like all we have. They've not milled it. Have, have I am I being stupid? Have I just missed it? I think they're just gonna play for like end of the game, which I don't blame them for. There it is. They just have to then tap this and that's it. Ah, oh, death to milling. Oh, oh, I said it. I had to say it, didn't I, beforehand? I had to say... 
double drakes, no like they're worried. Great deck, three one could be seven. It's three two, and who knows? I mean, this is a seven win, isn't it? How are we not there? And obviously, appreciate I had a comment on one of my last videos about a pick I didn't make during uh, the draft. Uh, and I absolutely, I, I really appreciate it when people give me that kind of criticism because, like, it's just useful. Uh, I'm not in any way, at any point, have I said I'm particularly good at this whole magic malarkey. Um, it's more just. You know, um, a good bit of fun, enjoy doing it, and you know what, I'd like to get better. And if you if you like see me make a glaringly obvious and stupid mistake, then goodness gracious, you need to let me know. Um, So, one, two, three, four, five, six. I draw two cards, seven, eight. I can't play any of them. Whereas if I do this, I get one red, which I can't do anything with. So we'll put the Riptide out. Gives us a blocker for that Adept. We can either go Research Net. Hello! It's a little uh, Roosty Roosty Drakey Drakey Sitch. Oh, how good's that? So we'll field research now because we need an, uh, what would I rather Yeah, that's going to get annoying. Okay. So this is like where th the think tank is required. We're going to play a land. So we can go Electromancer into Risen Riptide. Which gives us plenty of blockers. I, I, you know what? I just think that's the best thing to do. I'm not even going to debate anything else. We use all our mana. It's it's efficient. At the moment, we're just taking two in the air, which isn't too much of a big deal. We've still got five cards in hand. We feel great about. Um, when we draw our kicked spell... Okay. Yeah, so which is a shame. Um, so we can kick a spell shield. So that helped us out a little bit, didn't it? And now when they attack, we can take down the... We can just make the Felidar a zero and draw a card off of it.
They have to block with the Drake. They probably block the Electromancer, which is fair enough. We hit him for 12. Blocker on the floor for the Adept. Another Geyser Mage for next turn. Cha-ching. Unless they can pull something out of the old Bagaroo. They're best off just playing the Felidar, really, unless they've got, yeah, and then playing a land. Well, it looked a bit sketchy. We didn't even see a roost, but we beat the roost. We beat it. Um, okay, 4-2. A 5-2 is like not an embarrassment. But we really want this to keep to keep going, don't we? We all do. Don't sit there and lie to yourself and pretend like you don't want to see this go all the way to seven. It would be a great return to the sport. I've got a new like mic um, position. I keep worrying that I'm like knocking the cable out so I could just be sat here like and you wouldn't know. I wouldn't know anyway. Oh it's a bit nippy in this room, you know. I guess I am wearing just like a t shirt, but even so. Okay, Riptides, something to kick. Hopefully they play something with one toughness, which there are plenty of in this format. That's fine. Hopefully they play something with one toughness, which there are plenty of in this format. That's fine. Like, I'm in the game for a, a Riptide or two. We don't currently have the mana to necessarily. Oh, yeah. So we can electromancer and then do nothing, or we can just riptide. Like this is suiting me down to the ground. Now they're on a similar kind of train, Kevin twelve twelve. Doing nothing with the mana. Bold choice. Okay, so um, we can bounce and hit them for ten. I kind of feel like I'm going to do that. There it is. They just obviously didn't draw whatever they needed. And I'm really sorry to them for that, Kevin1212. 1212, whatever your name is. But 5-2, five, five guys. And, and gals. And you can check that, what, a week or so ago when I did the last vid. It might even have been a week and a half, two weeks ago, that we had the last draft. I've bought a couple of gems and then we're back on it. No other drafts have taken place. This is fresh bag into it. Getting tough now though to get the sixth and seventh win. You see, you say that, and that's what draw you, you draw, you know. So we got we're on the draw. I'm happy with three with five three. We don't need a we don't need a mountain straight away, and there it is. I'm going to hold on to the Tazim Raw Mage because I'm just feeling a bit saucy. It's got Kicker written all over it. Well, they're not. They're obviously just like I'm playing it. 
I'll take two. This is where I want my little one, uh, my little instant. So that should hold them off for a minute. We've got plenty of lands. I'm not worried about drawing another one. Worst case scenario, next turn, we don't draw a land. We just Electromancer uh, and let the mana go, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, no, we don't. We Thundering Rebuke. The absolute devil sticks out of that. Yeah, there's no real way to do what I want to do, so... Kaplamo, he says. Not ideal to miss that land drop. I got rid of some lands, they probably thought, oh, you've got loads of lands. I just have a lot of source here, you know? Okay, okay, so there's this blue-black mill, without the mill, which is bold. Um, so we go here, let's see, Royal Mage, we go up here, yeah, we're going to go up here, oh, okay, well, no, we're not, that's fine, of all the things, that's probably, that's probably the, 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 the best outcome, get that out of their hand. Six mana, one card in hand. They do nothing. Oh, now. So I need to get rid of that. It is not ideal to be going 5-5. Five, five, but that thing can't block unless we have eight cards in our graveyard. So I guess we're attacking for five. Can't block. Sorry, you just can't. They can tap it and mill for two. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. I mean, we're, we're kind of online for a lot of things. We into the royal. Into the royal kicked. Like, I'll, I'll take three if that's what you want to do. Like, if they've got another living tempest, then it kind of gets a bit. I guess it'll get a little bit silly. Then. Okay, that thing. Fine. Five, five, five. The target of a spell. Mm -hmm. So. We could do that. It frees us one up, which is three, which isn't really enough. So that still can't block. So I say... Get rid of it. I haven't got any cards in hand, so the... That's fine. Didn't want either of those cards anyway. Send that in. They can block with the mirrored construct if they want. No, that's good. I can block the construct next turn. Um, because I think people just like forget that that thing is when it's targeted. So you block it, you kill it. You know, it's, it doesn't doesn't split when you kill it. They can't really attack with anything. They can play the Golem again. I just... If they've got a spell, they've got a spell. But it, like, what a waste. They just lost it. I think they assumed that it would... Um, 
Okay, so they are like quite heavy mill theme, which is good. Um, Eight cards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Obviously they can mill me for some. Um, they have uh, lethal right now, but I don't think it's wise them to attack on that life total. That's not a bad draw for them though. In terms of being able to sneak it through eventually. I'll kill the Living Tempest next turn with the Thundering Rebuke. And I'll probably Electromancer first. Uh, unless I get a Kicker card. And then I'll have to re-evaluate. But I'll probably use the Riptide as a defensive thing. They're going to want to mill me in order to... Oh, look at that. Would you look at that? You'd want to just concede, wouldn't you? Double Drake? Double Roosty Boy? Unbelievable. Unbelievable, Jeff. So, what are we What are we risk of? We're not going to mill out. We just want to get rid of that flyer. Pecking them for two, in the view that if they don't have anything this turn, then that's kind of it. They can trigger that a couple of times. What, once? It's going to cost them three. Twice? They can trigger that twice and make that a four. Four. Nothing has trample. They're dead in the air. Like, I'll leave enough to kill them in the air. If, they, if they've got some flash flyer, then good for them. They've got a flyer. So if I send those both in, they hit me for three, four, five, six, seven. If they don't have another wizard, so they don't draw a card. They're no longer dead in the air. Um, they, if they draw removal, it makes things trickier, but with still plenty of... Like, I'll play, I'll, I'll attack, but if they've got other, another flash thing, then yeah, so they're dead in the air next turn. And we're not going to die to milling. You know, I completely understand if. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, they've, they they kind of had to have it. So now they can do three, seven. And I need to kick a card. I mean, fair play running two Living Tempests. I don't particularly like the card, but... Now, are they going to go for it? I've still got plenty of... I mean, I've got... Uh, one Royal Eruption that would kill him. If I drew it, just straight out direct damage. I've got kicker cards coming out of my ears. So, if I were them, double pump, send it. Does more damage than that, maybe send them both. Right, so they represent lethal next turn. I need an answer. It's not an answer. He's only gone and lost it now, hasn't he? I just need to hope that they uh, they don't send the, the Stalker and the Tempest. But I think they know it. Oh no! This should have been it. We should never have drawn this many lives. Let's see. It's going to cost them eight and they've got they've got enough to pump that twice. Just, just pass. Just send. Just send the tempest. I would. Just send the tempest. Nope. Oh, no. The tease. Unbelievable. Well, hey. You cannot win them all. Apparently, you can't even win the ones... Well, we kept a dodgy hand, but even so, you can't even win the ones where you've got the great deck. Okay. So, what do we learn here? We're back on it. 5-3 in the end. Is that right? 5-3. Look, we got our gems back. There we go. We've got some packs... For the trouble uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that I look forward to seeing anyone who wishes to telling me everything I did wrong in the draft everything I did wrong in the games uh, constructive criticism is always helpful to me and irrelevant of my response I'm very grateful uh, either way I hope you guys are all really well I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you all look forward to the next one which will be out at some point soon probably at the weekend um, wherever you are Thank you very much, and I'll see you later on. Bye.